Dan, everybody's I against me. I called Daniel out a long time ago, and for some reason he still thinks that he's going to beat the Miata, even though that car made 50 more horsepower than his car is going to. But that's okay. <laughs> This my, this my shit, oh tell her you're not my bitch This my, this my shit, oh tell her get off my dick Itchy dash, nitro gas, time is passing Quick, 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 I just want tonight to last Life go fast, it tick, 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 tick What's going on guys, today we're gonna be racing Gavin's Turbo Miata That actually makes a surprising amount of horsepower And um, it's this little ugly thing right here hey. Damn, you strap it up already? Shit, let me go get my GoPro then. Whatever we, whatever you, I ask you when you I'm, want to do this, I was, say any time, and I say, what about now? What does that mean to you? Give me 60, give me a minute. Hello there. Tonight's bath is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. After a long day of selling soap, I like to enjoy myself. And right now, there's no better bubble bath entertainment than Raid Shadow Legends. Not only does Raid have millions of players and dozens of bosses, but it's also got gorgeous graphics. Now I know you're probably excited to see what I'm about to show you, but first, use my link down below. Go download the game for your phone or PC. All right, here's what I want you to do now. Okay. I want you to put some bubbles on your head. What? Raid has been a very fun game for a very long time, but now, they've introduced a new faction, the Shadowkin. The Shadowkin are shrouded by mystery, just like me and my bubbles. Hailing from the furthest reaches of the eastern continent, beyond the Brimstone Path, it's believed that they've been under the brutal heel of the demon spawn for the last several hundred years. Only recently have they overthrown Seros Yoke. <laughs> Yoke. <laughs> are they evil? Not sure. Are they good guys? Probably. Do they look cool? Absolutely. Now excuse me while I pop the top on some sweet cream and show you my favorite Shadowkin warrior. My favorite Shadowkin champion is Sachi for strategic reasons. If you go check her out, you can see what I mean. She's pretty well equipped with, with her weapons, of course. So one of my favorite features about this game is actually the autoplay feature. You can just sit back and let it go on its own, kind of like autopilot and you can just see the progression happen on its own. It's extremely satisfying. Another bonus is the huge variety of characters. Anybody from anywhere can probably find somebody that they bond with in this game and they can just max them out. And also, if you want the best weekly re and also, if you want the best re if you want the best weekly weekly rewards, hop into a bubble bath battle with your buddies against a boss. And if you want the best weekly rewards, join a clan and hop into a bubble bath battle with your buds and fight a boss. So aside from the Shadowkin and lovely Sachi, here's what else is new in Raid. This month, Raid released an insane amount of new content and things to do. They released 11 champions and 200 new missions for you guys to complete. And if you finish them, you'll get an exclusive legendary champion as your reward. But wait, there's more. They've added five new levels to every single dungeon. That's as many toes as I have, at least. Can you even believe that they added all of that in just one month? I think that's as long as it took to build Rome. It's incredible. So Raid, just like my bubble bass, are getting bigger and bigger every single month. It's never been this easy to get started. So what are you waiting for? Use the link down below to support my channel and download Raid so that way you can have a bubble bath battling fun with your buddies and beat some bosses. Anyways, click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Now that this is over, I'm all out of bubbles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make more of these and you guys enjoy the video. You ready to go, bitch? I'm ready to go. Been here for five minutes. Y'all ready for this cold start? What up? I on, I'll be honest. I didn't expect your car to make that much power, so I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna go either, because I rode in yours, but it wasn't turned up as much as it was on the dyno. And yours still isn't slow. We'll see. We'll see. The old Miata versus the supercharged max effort built. It's not built, it's a stock motor. Gavin literally says everything is built when it's against him. 
So, let's talk about these two cars. If you are not aware of Gavin's Turbo Miata, the story behind it is that he pretty much just bought a Miata, it was turboed, it was over boosting, and the previous owner didn't know why, so we put it on the dyno and tried to see how it was tuned and how much power it would make with a different boost controller. Anyways, turns out that one of the boost lines or one of the boost references was not hooked up to the wastegate. So the wastegate never opened and the turbo just kept spooling, therefore just making way too much boost. We got it worked out, got the car kind of fixed. The turbo Miata ended up making a maximum of 320 horsepower on the highest boost setting that we could get to. So this car, my Procharge 350Z, ended up making 390 wheel horsepower, which is pretty solid for it only making 10 pounds of boost. Gavin's talking mad shit with that car. I've been talking mad shit with this car. We'll see how it goes. But right now we're on our way to Mexico and uh, I will see you guys whenever we get there. Woo, it smells like pineapples and tequila out here. Welcome to Mexico. big flames oh yeah you got it on video because i haven't seen them yet it is like not even small i mean seriously like whenever you were on d-cell it was flowing flames out for like five seconds about that long <laughs> really that's awesome yeah it was weird i've never seen that from that car or any car period yeah i'm pretty sure i just i oh i was like that fucking close to money shifting i like i act i think i accidentally put it in second yeah. instead of fourth because I was like, oh shit. I was like trying to get in quick and I just like barely tapped the clutch and it yanked. So like still got oil pressure, so we're good for now. But <laughs> I almost money shifted it. You wanna do the same thing and just try again? Yeah. All right, let's wait till we get a break.
oil pressure. Oil pressure is well high enough. Plenty high. hilarious oh yeah you're spitting some oil out i could see the i could see the smoke behind you yeah, oh I can tell. Thank you. all right i think that's enough <laughs> that might be enough racing for right now <laughs> you were wanting to do a, a six speed swap oh, damn. I, I didn't think it was gonna go like this yeah Dear that, God. <laughs> that car is quicker than i thought it was that car is quicker than i thought it was <laughs> hell yeah nice Go. Hey, that I mean that we knew they were we knew they were butter. What the fuck? Why fifth? Why All right, my cruising gear. Well, either way, we can just cruise back. We'll take our time. We know how fast the two cars are. It sucks, but <laughs> this is whack. Yeah. All right. Let's well, go. they were good races at least. Kind of. Well, fuck. That sucks. Gavin blew the transmission, so he doesn't have he doesn't have fifth gear. He literally just pulled. Uh, same thing that I did at the end of 2019. All right, well, let's get going. Apparently, though, Zoe is shooting some giant ass flames. So on the way back, we're actually going to try and get a few shots of the car shooting flames. We're going to see what we can do. Breaking the news to everyone. <laughs> Look at Robbie, so concerned. <laughs> there's, there's soot literally all over the back of the car now. I mean, not much because we only did it a little bit, but like. That we have a five speed Miata chance down the road. Oh, yeah, you do. I forgot. <laughs> shit, you can just swap that shit in. Yeah. I'm not making excuses, I swear to God. But the one run that I actually didn't miss gears or blow the trans, we were out in front of you for a good bit. The reason for that is because the first race, I started in second mm -hmm. and I just got out immediately. After that, I started, I was starting in third and then you had a really good one where you got out in front and I never caught back up. Yeah. But um, I was catching up, I just would have had to run into like 150 to eventually pass you. I thought I kept missing gears, but it turns out that it was not me missing gears. <laughs> it was the Miata Every time, gears. literally every time that we would race, we would pull out, I would go to put it in third, there was nothing there, and Dana would fly by, so I'd just hit fourth and try to catch up and it wouldn't work. So then the last time, I tried one more time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, it's not about winning or losing races. It's about making oh content. God, it's about making up, content. Shut in the process of winning. I am done. Mm-hmm. 
It's so loud, dude. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's loud inside the car. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. That was a pretty good race between the Z and the Miata. I'm surprised that the Z got out as much as it did, and I'm also surprised that the car is actually that fast. I didn't expect it to feel that fast. It was pretty solid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Woo! Woo! Victory screech. You trying to you trying to race that one? Gavin's all butt hurt. Now he's really just trying to redeem himself. You're gonna but, be butt hurt too, and I get the shit out of you. Boy, get your ass out of here. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up on it if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you next time.